Hello, beautiful people, and happy Monday, September 27th. It is your girl, Miss Lee, full-time real estate entrepreneur, success coach, and mom here based out of the Atlanta, Georgia area. And I just wanted to jump on on this beautiful, absolutely beautiful um, Monday morning, Monday afternoon to drop a word of advice and also to find out how, what are, how are you guys doing? This is the last month of Q3. What are your plans for Q3? What are your goals for making sure that you go out of this year with a bang so that it is absolutely phenomenal? Uh, are you planning on closing more deals? Are you already set? Are you looking forward to, um, you know, depending on the industry that you're in, you may be in real estate investing, you may be in the stock market. What are some of your plans to end 2021 with a bang? I know for me, I'm planning some really exciting things. Of course, the real estate training uh, that's coming up over the next few weeks. Really excited about that, as well as some other things that I'm going to keep under wraps until they're absolutely finalized. But I just wanted to tap in with you all. I know a lot of times I get a few, you know, I get DMs where people are saying, you inspire me, um, I keep going, uh, continue to post. So I want to make sure to the ladies that follow me um, to let you ladies know that no matter what you have going on in your life, no matter how hard things may be, keep going, keep your mindset. Remember to start your morning off each day with prayer, with saying, dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for your blessings. Thank you for abundance. Thank you for waking me up. Thank you for guiding me in the right direction. Make sure that you are speaking life into your situation. The things that you want to achieve, you want to make sure that you're speaking life into those things. So if for you, you would like to um, close more deals, dear God, thank you so much for allowing my company to close more deals. Dear God, thank you so much for sending me more leads. If you're looking to build your team, Thank you so much for sending me the right team members. Thank you so much for making sure that I have the correct team members in place to ensure that I hit my target. I know for me, I have some really amazing team members. Uh, my closing coordinator, she is absolutely phenomenal. I would not, <laughs> I mean, and in the past, I used to do this on my own, but I tell you one thing, having a solid team in place is absolutely key, especially in real estate investing and more than likely in anything that you do in life uh, with ensuring that you're able to hit your targets effectively, having a, a, a quality team in place is really, really important. So I just wanted to jump on here this afternoon to say, hello, guys, what are your goals for 2021? It is, we're coming, uh, October 1st will be the first month of Q4. That means that is the last three months of 2021. So you wanna ensure that you are hitting this month hard. I know for me and my team, it was bumpy uh, the last few months, but now we're back on track. We have closings happening and things like that. So know that sometimes things in your company may go a little, you know, get a little crazy, but that doesn't mean stop. It just means reevaluate things, go harder. As Grant Cardone says, and that's one of my mentors, you know, when things get hard, don't lower your target, increase your actions. So if things are starting to get difficult and you're like, wait a minute, I'm not closing the deals I, I was closing or I am closing and I want to close more, increase the actions, the income generating activities that will help you hit your target. I know for us, we're making more offers. We're making more phone calls. We're being very intentional when it comes to the lead sources that we're following up on within our company. And when it comes to closing deals, uh, if you are into real estate investing, that's really most important, making sure that you identify exactly where your leads are coming from, um, you know, how many times you're calling those leads, what are the follow-ups on the leads, when was the last time you made a phone call, when was the last time that seller was spoken to, has a contract been sent to the seller, uh, if so, has the seller opened the contract, has the seller... Um, sign the contract? And if so, has that signed contract been sent to the attorney? Has escrow been open? All of these different things that go into consideration when it comes to getting your deal closed. So it's really important, I know for me, to ensure that you have a solid team in place to make sure that those things get done, especially if you have a lot of other projects going on, like I know I do right now in my company. I'm working, like I said, on the real estate you know, event that's happening and all of these other things, but my main thing is my real estate investment company. That is our income. Uh, that's what keeps us going. So I always want to make sure that I have dotted all my I's and crossed all my T's and that could not be done without the help of a solid team. So uh, for all of you guys, 
to summarize all of that, just wanted to make sure that I'm checking in to say, make sure you are making the last quarter of 2021 amazing. Make sure that you are praying in the morning. Again, if there's things that you need within your company, such as team members, um, more leads, less leads, whatever it may be, um, ensure that you are praying for those things in the morning keeping your energy high, avoiding all negativity as much as possible. Negative things will happen. That does not mean that you need to acknowledge them or that you need to pay any attention to them. I know for me, I see a lot of crazy things that happen, um, but I do my very best to avoid them at all costs. Um, you won't see me posting anything negative on my timeline. You won't see me indulging in anything negative because I truly believe that what you focus on expands. And so therefore I choose to focus on positivity. Focus on positivity, avoid anything that can lower your vibration because everything is energy. And so if you are focusing on things that may lower your vibration, then you are going to attract things that, on a, that are on a lower vibration. If you are focusing on things that are on a lower vibration, you will attract things on a lower vibration. And that goes for myself. Like I really make sure, listen, if you look at my Instagram, if anybody on here is following me on Instagram, okay, everything is energy. I am only following 100 people on Instagram and I'm going to drop that to 50 and eventually drop it to 10. But I'm very intentional with the things that I watch. I'm very intentional with the things that I have on my timeline. If you post anything that is questionable, anything that is of low vibration, whether it be news, drama, gossip, anything that is not on a vibration of abundance, I'm going to unfollow you. I will no longer have it on my timeline because I'm very intentional of the things that I want to bring in. So for anybody who's listening, if you have people on your timeline posting news, uh, the things that are happening in the world, the best thing that you guys can do for those types of things, whether it be what's happening in Haiti or whether it's happening wherever it is, set, start a, a separate page or something and just leave it there or send it there or, or advise whomever is posting it to do something about it. I know for me, I heard about the things that were happening in Haiti and what I wanted to do for the people in Haiti is I'm like, okay, who can I connect with there in, um, in Texas? Uh, what goodwill can we connect with? Can we get them close? Problem solving solutions, and not so much focusing on the negativity of what's happening, but the, the solving of how can we add value? How can we help? How can we empower? How can we shine light? How can we make sure that the, the, you know, the children have shoes? How can we make sure that the parents have clothing? How can we ensure that, um, the, that the needs are being met and, and, and understanding exactly why people are fleeing or anything that's negative like that, you know, what, exactly what are the solutions? So I just wanted to come on here, guys, and just give you guys a word of advice, give you guys some of my positive energy this morning and say, no matter what is happening in your life, do your absolute very best to focus on the positivity. If you all have any questions whatsoever with regards to real estate in general, I am throwing my first ever real estate training event. I'm excited about it because let me tell you guys, when I first started in this business, I was working in a salon all day, sometimes all weekend, I would never see my children. I would never have time off. I never had time for vacations and I wanted a different life. I wanted something new. And for me, I started focusing on positivity, my energy, understanding that what you think about, you bring about, just avoiding all negativity, getting negative people out of my life. And eventually I stumbled upon real estate investing. And from that point, it changed my life. I have not worked a job besides working within my company now uh, for eight years. And I'm so very grateful. I'm so very grateful. I am so very grateful for that. And so it is my intention to show other women ideally other women, other moms, how to have that freedom. But I'm also willing to help the guys as well. I know our Kings need to know, how do I get out of a job? How do I stop working? How do I stop getting up at 7 AM going to work at a job that's paying me $15 an hour that I absolutely don't like, which is taking me away from my goals, my passions, my dreams, and the things that I desire to achieve within my life. How do I have freedom? How do I have a better life? How does my, how do I show my children how they can start and open up a salon and all of the other amazing things that they 
they may want to do or open up a business or open up a food business or open up a clothing business or whatever it is that you may desire. Uh, I know Siobhan has now in the mall and good congratulations to you, Siobhan. Uh, she has a, the, the things that come on the fidgets that come on the bottom of the, um, of the Uggs, not the Uggs, the Crocs that the kids are wearing. And Siobhan has been looking for, I know she's in real estate investing and a lot of other amazing things, but she found her passion and being an entrepreneur at this time now, Siobhan Franklin, uh, big shots out to you. She can now go in and she's her own boss. So my main objective, my passion in life is to show women how to become your own boss, whether it be in real estate or any other passions that you may have. That is what I'm here for. That is my calling. I'm absolutely honored and blessed to be that person who truly cares because, you know, surprisingly, there are a lot of people in this world who really don't give a damn. I'm going to be honest with you. They don't care if other people succeed or not. They could care less. They're all about, hey, as long as I'm succeeding, that's all that matters. I, I, and it blows my mind because for me, it, whether I'm walking, whether I'm driving in my car, whether I'm walking in the grocery store, I'm very aware of the suffering of other people and the things that are happening around me. And if I see a mother you know, pushing a cart and she has two children, I'm a quick to say, hey, I've got a book and I want to give you a free copy. Or if I see somebody who I see is struggling, it's on my heart to make a difference and to help. So that is my, my purpose. That is my passion. It is to add value and make a difference in this world, shining light on positivity, love, abundance, and prosperity. So on this beautiful Monday, I just wanted to say, Happy Monday, beautiful people. Make sure you make the most of the last few days of Q3. Prepare yourself and be excited about Q4. If you are in the Atlanta, Georgia market, connect with me with regards to learning about real estate investing. I am so excited to share with you all all of the information that I've learned over the past eight years as a full-time real estate entrepreneur. I'm excited about the direction in which we're heading. We're going towards commercial real estate. We're about to start getting in a lot of crazy, exciting things. So I want to show with you, share with you all the information that I learned that got me to this point. Um, so until next time, everyone, it is your girl, Miss Lee, full-time real estate entrepreneur, success coach, host of the Keys to Success show, and stay tuned. Keys to Success show is coming back, and there are some really amazing things in store for the Keys to Success brand. I cannot wait. You guys stay tuned. It is your girl, Miss Lee. Until next time, have a blessed and prosperous afternoon. Until next time, peace.